Hello, my name is Bethlenka. I'm doing for, uh, microprocessor programming since I was um, in primary school, basically. I um, do many things and usually help others who need electronics. And this project I'm going to present about started uh, the same. Somebody came to me, we want to put this kind of LED fan in a disco. This costs around 1,000 euros. Can we do cheaper versions? I told them, well, it seems dirt cheap. Some LEDs, some controllers. Let's do it. So what was one of the requirements is to use a special standard, which these lamps use. It's called a DMX. It's for lighting control over like everything. If you look at a light show, like at the big event, usually they use DMX on these cheap lights as well. So the first part, designing a circuit. You can see I have one of these with mine. This is like a 27 LED 7 watt little module, which can fit into a rail. Uh, the design looks like this. It's utterly complicated. I don't want to talk about it. I spent like four hours designing it. So there, uh, and I got a job. Jo no. I got a job when I finished the design. So I have a spectrum analysis of this. If anyone interested, I can tell anything about it later. DMX. Uh, it's what well, it was weird because I never really worked with it. I know it was carried over an XLR or microphone cable. And when I started looking into it, you find that when you do something which was created like 30 years ago, it's this simple. A DMX packet consists of five parts. A break, which can take one, one second. A mark, which can also be one second. The start code, a mark. And a channel data. Basically, these five parts are just repeating at every like four seconds. One second long time to work with. I thought an Arduino going to be good enough for me. So I started designing using differential signals. As it carries, I had a little bit of problem translating this to something with just one signal instead of two. But if you Google DMX to Arduino, it will split out a beautiful IC called the MAX485, which can do the conversation. And it can die pretty quick as well. Design the circuit board for it. It's basically just the two DMX input and output, the power, the switching circuitry, and the beautiful, beautiful Arduino microchip in the middle. Design uh, asked for GSC PCB for a design. Here it is. If you've seen me solder uh, like a few hours ago or yesterday or before that, I'm probably ditching this circuit and trying to repair it. The problem is that. Everything on this needs 5 volts. And I'm designing it for LEDs that work with 12 and 24 volts. A little bit of voltage differential that can literally blast it into your face. I'm not joking. Uh, while testing today, I connected it uh, backwards. A little bit of a piece from one of the ICs just flowed into my, uh, into my face and into my eye. It was a really, really good experience. So what is happening? Basically, the controller sends a signal chain, which consists of uh, 5,012 uh, channels, sends it out over an XLR cable into one of these modules. In the dip switches, you can set a channel in binary data. As the data set, the channels will, sw uh, will be shifted with that much. And yeah, if you send out a signal between 0 and 255, which is normal DMX, then light will light up with it. And because it's Arduino, I can just change the code to use something like NeoPixels, which can be like really freaking huge. I can change it to use like relays to switch analog lights. I can even dim. Uh, solid-state relays, which, can, which is these small circuitries that can switch huge amounts of currents to like, literally change the brightness of analog or big lights. We are talking about from zero watts to like infinite from all this small circuitry. I would bore everyone with the code, 
but I think I'm running out of slides. And uh, is there any questions? Basically, this was my whole project for like one month. Well, I think this is a no. Instead, sorry. Uh, I can't hear. Sorry, Dell. I wanted to set up a demo, but as I said, so I had a little whoopsie uh, today and like sent like 48 watts over tiny wire and burned down like every connection I had. So I wanted it, but maybe it's not a good idea. It's still in the testing phase. Uh, yes, it's a fan. Like uh, it's basically to simulate airflow. You have a motor in the back, RGB panels on the front, and the motor rotates it very slowly or in different directions. You can program the RGB lights on on the strips, and like it's just for disco lighting. And uh, we wanted to use it because in a very close space we have lots of people. And it really can cool off uh, someone. Uh, the, I calculated the amount of LEDs on each end, and that is how I got this density for this module. Anything else? No? Thank you. You took off the microcontroller from Arduino. Uh, I ordered a few of these microchips. Fun fact, if you go search for atmega 328 p which is the microcontroller for the Arduino, you will find this version, which is like 2.2 euros, and you will find one like 1.8 uh, 1 .8 euros. I'm dirt fucking cheap. Give me all of them. No. There's a P. Uh, there's a B after the P, which means it's a different version, and you cannot program it with the same code, and it isn't documented anywhere on the planet. I had a f and I, had, I had a little problem there. Uh, you have to flash bootloader over an SPI connection, which is just like free wires, and then after you can upload your code onto it, like as same as an Arduino Pro Mini. Anything else? No. Thank you. Thank you for listening.